What's up guys, Doc Ito here with an Alita update. Today, the doctor is in and we are talking about the Alita box office numbers. Did we really lose another million dollars? We were at 402.6 million last Monday and now we're at 401.7 after the Sunday estimates come, have come in. This is unusual. We never see a movie go down a million from one week to the next. We knew there was a correction in the middle of last week and typically we get these fixed. I'll tell you what I think. Honestly, I think this number is going to go up, but I'll go through all the details with you. Also going to touch briefly on this article from Otaku Kart, Alita Battle Angel sequel headed for a rocky road after Disney purchase. First, a couple reminders. Remember to head to change.org and sign the petition. We are making great progress. We are over 11,000 signatures. Keep up the great support. We are going to get the sequel. Also remember to go to IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, and Metacritic and vote for the movie to keep the numbers up. And finally, remember to like and subscribe to the channel so Doc Ito can keep bringing these free repairs. Looking at the daily box office numbers, this weekend was actually very rough for Alita. On Friday, they estimate only $45,000, Saturday $78,000, and Sunday forty-seven dollars for a total weekend of $170,000 and a 68% drop. This is a much larger drop than expected, and it's because we are only looking at 311 theaters now in the United States. This is down from the 676 from last week, which is down from the 1439 from the week before. So we have lost 50% of theaters in one week, and now even more than that in the following week. So it's very difficult for a movie to make money. If you actually look per theater, we are making about... $250 per theater on Sunday or on Saturday, which is not that bad. I mean, we were making 338 last one, but now because there are so much fewer theaters, it's very hard for the movie to make money. And if this trend continues, the movie isn't going to make much more in the US. I thought we'd be about 85.5, but I didn't expect this many theaters to go down. And I think the reason for this was Shazam. A lot of people um, ended up going to the movie, it did better than expected, and people uh, shut down theaters for Alita and open some for Shazam. Now at this stage for us to go and continue to support the movie is very important because when there are fewer theaters the more of us that get concentrated in a theater seeing the movie repeat times will improve the chances of that theater making more money and of that theater deciding to bring back the movie for another week next week. So continue to support the movie especially on social media and throughout to get the word out to anyone who hasn't seen it. We know that the Social media pages are still down after the, after the Disney merger. So what happened here? We made $170,000, but when we look at the summary numbers, we are down to 401.7. What happened? Well, we know last week there was a correction in the four numbers with a loss of about $1.3 million. And actually what has happened is they have not updated these numbers. So if we look at the foreign totals, we are still at 316.4 after the downward correction. And the last update was April 2nd. So there haven't been updates for almost a week. And I did the numbers by taking the old uh, totals and adding the daily totals from the US without uh, any foreign numbers. And the numbers match up to this current uh, gross to the dollar. So these numbers are taking the April 2nd downward revision and adding the US daily totals. So worst case scenario is 401.7. Even with this downward revision, I think we're probably around 402 because this number has no foreign money for almost a week included. Honestly, I think some of that downward revision is going to go back up because two weeks ago when this happened, all of that numbers when I did the analysis came back. So I wouldn't be shocked if after the revision back up, we are looking at about 403 and that would be great. I am working on these numbers. I have spreadsheets and things going on uh, that I'm saving. I have been on a trip, so I apologize for the sporadic repairs. Um, once I get to a computer back in Doc Ito's office, we will run all these numbers and we're looking into whether this is unusual, whether other movies have this happen with the revisions going down. I don't know of any. Um, SC Reviews just put a video yesterday and we were talking about this and he agrees that it's very unusual, hasn't seen other movies dealing with things like this. So hopefully it's just a database error, but we will get to the bottom of this as best we can. 
So while the numbers do look bad at 401.7, while it looks like we are down a million, I don't think we're down that much, if at all. And once we get the final numbers, hopefully later today, I wouldn't be surprised if we go up and then probably tomorrow we'll be able to go through all the details and see where we are tracking. I still hope this movie gets to about 405, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't make a huge difference. This movie has crossed 400. That was the most important milestone. Whether we get another million or two here or there isn't gonna make a huge difference, but every little bit helps. If you look at other top 2019 movies, it is not unusual for this update to not occur, especially later on. So here's What Men Want, which came out a couple weeks before Alita. And from a foreign box office standpoint, the last update was April 3rd. And Glass, if you pull it up, it's the same thing. We haven't had an update in over a week. The Lego movie, if you look at the foreign updates, the last update was March 31st. And not only that, if you look at the daily updates on the Lego movie, they have actually not even updated this past weekend. So box office mojo is a little bit behind. We will get our Alita numbers. Alita Battle Angel sequel headed for a rocky road after Disney purchase of Fox. This is from Otaku Kart. This isn't a great article, but we'll go through some of it real quick. The biggest question concerning the sequel is the Disney Fox takeover. It talks about how Cameron bought, uh, has been working on it since 2000 and Robert Rodriguez deserves credit. It talks about how the anime, uh, sorry, how the movie is very similar to the anime. But then they talk about how, if it's possible, it could become a franchise. While Cameron has plans to do a sequence, which should be sequel, it is greenlit. This should say it isn't greenlit. Technically, it should make enough for a sequel but because it made 394, but we don't know. Um, essentially, it made more than 394, and with the grammar errors, I really think this article is more speculation rather than breaking any new news. Um, they mentioned the figure was better than expected. Alita didn't belly flop, which is perfect. Uh, the Disney Fox takeover, they say it could potentially be a Disney Plus live action series. I don't think they actually know anything about uh, any news, but this is probably from the Forbes article that talked about Disney Plus as a possibility. And then they bring up the point that the movie might take several years to come out, which is true, especially with the amount of CGI used. So interesting article. It came out earlier today, but I don't think there's any new news about the sequel. Uh, we will have to wait and see. So remember to keep supporting Alita, to keep fighting for the movie. We are still waiting for the Blu-ray release. We will get you updates on that as soon as we hear. Remember to like and subscribe. We do not stand by in the presence of evil. We will continue to support Alita. And you all have a great day. We'll see a full analysis probably tomorrow. And we'll talk to you soon. Doc out.